try to project as much as possible in here. Uh, welcome, thank you so much for being here. We have clergy from all across Oklahoma Interfaith today, and we are glad to be here. We just wanted to come and to pray uh, over our educators, over our 700,000 kids in public school. We are united by one central theme, and that is that we have children that are in dire need of our help. And so we've been organized, uh, Pastors for Oklahoma Kids have been, for almost a year and a half now, advocating with the same message, that our children need resources. They need textbooks, they need lower class sizes, they need buildings that aren't falling down around them, and ultimately they need someone here to care about their plight. And so we came alongside to pray for them, but to do more than that, to pressure folks to do the right thing. And so today we are in this place, inhabiting this space for that reason. So we're going to pray today, and we're going to sing today, and we're going to gather today for that purpose. Thank you so much for being here today. It is good to see everybody on this morning, on a Thursday in which we come to the state capitol. I know many of you have been here all week fighting for our children, standing up for public education in this great state of ours. On behalf of the clergy, we want to thank each and every one of you for being here at this moment throughout this week, standing up not only for our children, but also for what is right and wrong. You are on the side of justice. And we are here to applaud you and to stand beside you and ask God's favor upon your effort. Would you pray with me, please? Gracious God, God of mercy, God of peace, God of justice, we come before you on this morning asking for your presence, asking that your spirit would descend upon us, that your spirit would descend upon these two legislative bodies, and that the hearts of lawmakers would be open to justice, that they would be listening to your voice, and that they would see every child across this great state. And Father, we pray that you would hold these teachers close to your breast, that you would provide them comfort, peace, strength, and a boldness that surpasses understanding. Their faith is inspirational to us all. And as clergy, we come here today standing beside them and thanking them for their great effort. So God, we come here today asking your blessing upon this place, asking your spirit to move among your people and that justice would rain down once again. We are here for our children, that they may be educated and that we understand this as a divine right given to the world through you, our creator. So Father, we pray your presence and we thank you for what is going on in our state. And we ask that you would put a spirit and a fire within the teachers here today. God, we your people bow down to your presence and listen to your word. And therefore, we walk out in faith. May the light that you burn continue to sparkle and continue to spark a flame and a fire that we know as you and your presence. It is in your holy and gracious name that we pray. And the people said, Amen. If I could have the teachers and support professionals please take a moment my name is Reverend Lori Walkie, and I am here to offer a blessing over our teachers and our support professionals. A blessing is a catch-all word for thanking and praising. And there is not a group that needs thanking and praising more than our teachers and our support professionals. So please, let me bless you. Bless you, teachers for writing grants, resource pooling, and going to workshops 
so that budding scientists can do more lab experiments even though it's not in the budget. Bless you teachers for holding study sessions and test prep after school and on the weekends so that students have a better chance of getting college scholarships. Bless you teachers for doing endless paperwork required for IEPs, curriculum modifications and referrals. Bless you for finding the best choices for students in a continuous learning curve of curriculum and ever-changing state requirements. Bless you teachers for coming to the rescue, for stashing breakfast bars in your desk for the kids who come to school hungry. Bless you for keeping a fresh t-shirt and new socks in the cabinet just in case a kiddo needs something clean to wear. Bless you for buying pencils and paper and whatever else is left unpurchased on the school supply list. God grant the rest of us courage to make public education a priority in the budget starting yesterday. Bless you administrators for being the front line of defense. Bless you for making hard decisions and being in between a rock and a hard place. Bless you for trying to balance all of the interests, the politics, and the personal. Grant, God grant the rest of us wisdom to pass legislation and support policies that make it easier for school administration to be creative and innovative instead of worried about making cuts and delivering bad news. Bless you teachers for seeing through the eye rolls, the blank stares, and the non-responses. Bless you for seeing what students will become instead of just disinterested teenagers. So often, all it takes is one person who believes in us to turn us around, and so often, it's a teacher who is that one person. Bless you for being committed, teachers, to peace and non-violence even when parents and legislators deserve a karate chop to the neck. Check the online portal for missing assignments. <laughs> They're all listed there. Bless you support personnel for giving teachers space to breathe, for making that one student able to stay in the classroom. Bless you for the hundreds of small things that no one will ever notice or thank you for, but you do anyway because it makes the wheels turn. God who calls all of us to care for one another on this late spring day, may we honor our teachers, administration, and support professionals. May they know that there are better days ahead. Send them into this day with hope and purpose, with confidence that they will be able to do what they love with the resources and support they need. Help the rest of us to make it so. Bless you, teachers. Bless you. Thank you. My name's Todd Littleton. I'm a pastor. And I am Tiffany Nagel Monroe, and I am also a pastor. We'd like to lead you in a community litany. As you can see behind us, there are representatives from a cross section in the faith community in the Oklahoma in, in the state of Oklahoma. So we invite you to participate. So there'll be a, a moment at the end of each statement for you to re respond with God, hear our prayer. This represents that we are in this together, that teachers aren't by themselves, our, our uh, support personnel aren't by themselves, but we're standing here with you, and this is a way for us to express that together. Our faith calls us to work for a just society one that ensures that every child has an opportunity for a good education and that public schools have the resources necessary to provide such an opportunity. We believe that all children are God's children and deserve the nurture of a good society, the prospect of a good education, and equal opportunity for a good life. Out of that belief, we now offer prayers. Please respond with, God, God hear our prayer.
accumulate. We promise to support their efforts with our time and substance. God, hear our prayer. We pray for Oklahoma families who have had to do some reconfiguring and recalculating during this time. We promise to be good neighbors in tangible ways, to shoulder the burden and lighten the load. God, hear our prayer. We pray, too, for our representatives who have the power of the purse, that they might be as committed to the children of Oklahoma as they are to industry in Oklahoma. We will continue to remind them that they are accountable to the people. We promise to continue encouraging them to make children first decisions. God, hear our prayer. We pray for our senators who have the power of ratification, approving that which moves us towards abundant life for all and disproving anything not aligned with our values. We will continue to remind them that education is infrastructure. We promise to encourage them to make the people of Oklahoma their priority. God, hear our prayer. All together, we, we call on our legislators to fully fund public education. We call on them to invest in teachers and support professionals so that those teachers and support staff can provide our children with a quality education. Grant us wisdom, God, as we discern the way forward, always asking how are the children, and always making sure the least of these is cared for. Amen. We will now join together in a song. We're going to sing this little light of mine, and we invite you to lock arms, grab hands, and circle the rotunda. There are several verses. If you'll find someone with a liturgy sheet, you can sing along.